and welcome back to LT Police Fallout 4. This is part 61 of my ongoing series, following the adventures of myself and my companion Dogmeat as we make our way across the Commonwealth. This is my first playthrough, and this character, I don't really know what to, you know, I named him LT, but like, I don't know what, uh, maybe the Lone Wanderer, the, the boy and his pup, I don't know, it's going to be kind of my railroad playthrough. Uh, that said, while off camera, I managed to arrange all my suits like I wanted. So they all now look a little better at Sanctuary. They're looking good. Um, I looked into a bit on what causes settlements to be attacked. Like, this is, again, I didn't do it because I'm necessarily going into settlement building, but Axhorn, I saw a video by him and I like him, so I just happened to watch it. And it was pretty good. So um, that talked about the statistics and what exactly goes into determining how likely a settlement is to be attacked. Oh, and then I found a chem station. There's one behind the yellow house back there, which is just weird that they decided to put that. So these are my power armor suits. Uh, Raider, T-45, T-60, T-60B, uh, X-01, and then a bunch of blank ones. Uh, I have T-51 and T-41D, but I don't have full stations. Got the chemistry station, obviously my selling thing. Uh, I was also looking at the... Uh, Another day in the Commonwealth. I'm gonna send you. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? So Haven't you the thing about that's interesting enough? talking about Automatron 173 is that I can't send them anyway anywhere, uh, which is unfortunate because they're bringing my total happiness down. But that oh that's the wrong button. Um, that said, let's come over here to inventory 437. Okay, the combat rifle. I was actually looking at it. It has so much adaptability that I'm thinking about, like, trading out just a bunch of my weapons for it. Um, I'm also thinking about, because I don't really use the 308 sniper, making the combat rifle just shoot in 308 so that I can use that ammo that I have. But I guess we will see. So, Road to Freedom, Far From Home, Shadow of Steel, Model Citizen... Talk to Captain Zhao. So we were all already in the middle of that one. And then these ones won't be very hard to do. Okay, so let's go over here. We're going to go talk to Zhao. I hope it actually, when I, it teleports me there, I hope it quick travels me there. I hope it actually puts me inside. Something I was thinking about that I thought would be a really cool legendary ability too, by the way, is uh, like a legendary ability that made it so you could field service your weapons. So like you could swap out mods on the fly. It could be. A really cool legendary ability because I know with the combat rifle there is one of the unique combat rifles you can get makes it so it can also shoot 356 which means it could shoot 356 38 308 and 45 which is just so many different types of ammo what is this this is just a boat nearby that I guess I've just never noticed before it's just a junk pile yeah it's just a boat nearby ooh oh that's boring. Pretty been thorough. Oh, all right. Whee! I gotta be careful because I wanted to make sure my character didn't decide to drink the water. Um, because sometimes my character can be a freaking idiot. But you know what? They're a representation of me, and uh, you know, we oh, we can all be pretty dumb sometimes. So. Sometimes it's doing small stuff, sometimes it's drinking radioactive water. You know, I try not to judge. You have dampening coil? Ah! Yoshu! Yoshu! Ah, to get nuclear fuel. Where are you going to get that? Ah, now that is the right question to ask. Two hundred years ago, I launched all of Yangtze's high-yield nuclear missiles as ordered. Probably For 200 years, I have lived with that guilt, that shame. So much fire, such pain, but one missile failed to launch. You must go down, remove the warhead, and bring it to me. Why don't you get it? Ah, <laughs> because I have different tasks. Oh, you are getting warhead. I will prepare the reactor. But now I must warn you. There is danger. Wishen. Old crew. 
still down there. Not yeah. okay like their captain. Worse. They do not harm me. But they will kill you. I... I cannot kill them. Still, they are my crew. My family. Jaren. All of us. But you must do what you must do. Alright, well. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't know why he decided to pick up the wrench. Was not that what I was looking for? I'm assuming he's opening this door. Or I guess I will. I've explored a little bit of the rest. Open bulkhead. I like that it changed the light. Come out to play. Chance to stagger on hit. I'll probably change that out for my current shotty. Like I'll just switch the mods over because it seems really good. And mine doesn't do that. I mean that's all that really comes down to. It's interesting that they're not called ghouls, they're literally just called crewmen. A gold watch and a silver pocket watch. See how they were spending their money. It's interesting that they that they were taken by radiation damage and I'm finding lots of radiation. What? Okay. That was a great kill. Nice job, dog meat. So, how do they have a subway token? Like, I get it randomly generated, but... I'm gonna keep asking these questions here, because they don't have good answers. Uh, how many more of you are there? What did that say? Power relay coil? seems like it'd be important. Like, it's not. It's not highlighted. It seems like it'd be important. Chemistry station. That guy was in the middle of his food, so there were... Not everybody did. They had vault lunch lunchboxes even down here. We hate the U.S., but we love them Voltaic launch bags. Meals never finished. Vegetable soup. The first enemy was a legendary, and I'm just, like, hoping for more legendaries ever since, but... Not having a lot of luck here. It's interesting that you can never search like the pantries, but you can search desks that are half buried. Yeah, I need more flare ammo. A lot of life preservers. They gotta look cool to do. They gotta be able to keep the sun out of their eyes that's down here. What is he hugging? He's hugging a Nuka Cola truck. He's surrounded by little bottle caps that I am unable to pick up. He was obsessed with Nuka Cola. It's so weird. Why would there just be a random Chinese crewman obsessed with Nuka Cola? Why do they have a death claw hand in here? They haven't gone above ground. Fusion core is a pretty good pickup. They've never gone, they've never left their plate like here since before the war, so how do they have a death claw hand? I don't know. 
Now, again, you can't look into a lot of this stuff because the excuse is, oh, it's a game mechanic. This is a world where these game mechanics exist, so like, a, you know, a colander. It took me like a solid second to figure out that that's not something you wear. And then after saying this, I realized that there are... There is a... There is the religion of the Great Spaghetti Monster. Where it is uh, considered a... Sweet. This is in our world. In real life. Where it is considered a... Um, religious garment. To wear the colony. Uh, and it's interesting because that entire religion was created, air quote, as a satire based on the fact that somebody wanted to be able to wear a colander on their head in their driver's license. Try not to go downstairs right now. Like, I, I know that that's the correct way to go, so... Wow, that wasn't what I was trying to do. Subway token. Terminal. Security's too good. Advanced. Man. So much medical stuff. I mean, I really don't need it, but it'd be nice. Alright. Truck and truck. Uh, another door here. This is like their kitchen. Baseball base. Why do they have a baseball base in one of their washers? Man, I... Ridiculous stuff. Alright. I feel like there was another path back here that I hadn't taken. Yeah, there was. I'd never went down. No. The stairs are right there. Why is it running off somewhere? I don't know. Is it going to get its friends? What are... Oh, okay. They're like some sort of mollusk that's growing. lock. There must be something cool in there, because that's a heavy-duty lock. Something you enjoy, right? So that was loud. <laughs> now that I'm being stealthy, but like I just thought that was a little, a little unnecessary. <laughs> I always offer to let me grab the fire extinguisher. But like I, I, it doesn't let me use the fire extinguisher to put out fires. Fire extinguishers just don't work like they used to. You know? They don't make them like they used to, if you will. Ooh, soap. They have not been using their soap. Kind of gross. You heard it here, kids. The reason that they're falling apart and they're gross is because they haven't. Once they become a ghoul, they stop using hygiene. And as immortals, that's kind of important. Yeah, but there's so many different ammo types that the come that the uh Blah 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 rifle. I can't remember the name of it. 
the combat rifle can do that I've been thinking about just using the combat rifle. Like, that'd be essentially the only weapon that I use. And I would just use that for everything. Just make it automatic, and then just keep switching what ammo type it uses based off of how much, like, what type of ammo I have in excess. Okay, I'm just making sure I explore everything. Man, everything's locked with terminals now. I go and I change... I really gotta look up with subway tokens. I've been saying that since, like, the beginning of the game. I go and I make it so I can unlock lockpicking things, and now everything is locked with all these stupid... Terminal locks. Ooh, first mate. Ah, oh, man, first mate's a glowing. Second. Yeah, I already don't like this room. It's a little phone. Little telephone. Whoa. A warhead, and its weight is zero, and it's worth zero. I think it's weird that it's worth nothing. Like, you can make some pretty crazy weapons with. And I'm surprised it's not, or power some pretty incredible things, but nah, I'm just gonna give it to this guy who bombed the U.S. so that he can go away. Open bulkhead door. I think I probably have to go in here in a bit anyway. No, that's probably just short. This was the shortcut back up, I guess. Does that look super familiar? I think they're both... I think they're both shortcuts. If I have a master terminal, like a master terminal ability, I can get in here and do everything without... Uh, now I'm lost. I can go down there and fix everything without ever killing any of the ghouls, other than the first mate. Also, the first mate's password gives me access to nothing. Like, uh, I don't believe it gives me access to any of the different... Here is the warhead. No difficulty with the warhead, I trust. What are you gonna do with the other missiles? Nothing. That is what... No plans. They are small, tactical, of no real use to me. Now, here is what you must do. Head down to the reactor. Take dampening coil and warhead with you. First, insert the dampening coil. Carefully, Xiaoxin. Then, put warhead into the reactor. As you do that, I monitor power levels from the control room. Do not put warhead in first. Do that? Si Wang, death for you and me both. Uh, so what's interesting is there's, if you do it that way, there is no way to get out on time. I want to make sure that the terminal doesn't work on any of the locked stuff, because obviously there's a lot of cool locked stuff, but I really don't think it does. The first mate's password is useful for nada. As in, we'll be able to hack this. Thing. So many bobby pins now. Alright, looks like we're gonna finish this up. Okay, so if you install it in the opposite order, as I was saying, there is no, nothing happens. Uh, it just, you freeze and you can't move anywhere. And then you just die. 
Like that's all that happens. Captain Zhao. Was not sure my beautiful Yangzi would hold together. <laughs> but Probably should have told me that to risk. You are a capitalist. <laughs> I know you expect payment for services. Instead, I would offer you service in exchange for your service. It is our way. Take these uh, transponders. Each one acts as a homing signal for missile I can fire from my Yangzi. Only small, tactical nukes. But you should still get as far away as possible. Throw transponder like a grenade to activate it. Then wait for Baozha. Kaboom. Why would you let me use up your missiles? I have no wish to bring weapons back home. I leave the fire here, and I owe you. Zhao pays his debts. Besides, my missiles just might save your bacon. Soon I will <laughs> set sail. You should get ashore. Farewell, American. I must admit, I have met worse capitalists. <laughs> Um, range 93, homing beacon. Here there be monsters. Quest completed. So that's that. That's the whole quest with uh, the underwater thing. The, that is that whole quest. Here there be monsters. You heard it from me. Put it as eloquently as can be. Yeah, but... Um, I really wish there was, you know, as usual, I come away satisfied, but wishing there was more. I'm not taking radiation damage from the water yet, and I consider that a gift. Um, next up, the slog greenskins. Kill the supermans back in Breakheart Banks. And kill the ghouls in the National Guard training yard. I didn't realize it gave me a printout of what that meant after I finished. So I have not actually been there yet, but I will start by going to Green Top Nursery and then go north over to the Break Top. A new player in the Commonwealth, the Rust Devils, a raider gang with a taste for technology and the smarts to use it. I frequently destroy robots just so they can utilize their scavenged parts. I'm s I'm really surprised actually that the raiders like there aren't more groups that have done that, and the reason is is because there are literally advanced robots just running around. It's been 200 years. They're still just running around, no problem. So why not be using them? It just it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. All right. He just growled as if there was something here, which concerns me slightly, but not altogether a lot. I don't know if you guys find yourself doing this, but I actually find myself going and deleting all of my saved games <clears throat> because I don't like it to have a buildup of a hundred saved games. <laughs> Clean blue suit. Do I have one of those? I feel like I do, but you know I me, mean? I can't risk it. So we are starting to come up on it now. It keeps going in and out on whether or not I'm hidden. What has seen me? Ooh. That had seen me. Alright, well. I tried for the stealth. As usual. Nothing came of it. It was such a slow attack. Stop. I did not mean to grab the board. I panicked. Mutant Hound, I will take. Rad Axe in the weapons crate. Weird choice, but I'll take it. Cola Quantum. I mean, I don't judge if they like there. Ooh, dirty water. Wish there was a more ready source of dirty water. So I can, dirty water, I can. Super Mutant Waste Cloth. That's alright. I don't think that'll get me a bargain anywhere. Okay, it's gonna t make me take the hunting rifle. Time to die. A butcher? I haven't seen a super mutant butcher. 
Thought we found something. We're in the middle of I think he found an enemy. Scope, heavy assault rifle. Super mutant chest harness, plunger, tuxedo. Hey man! These guys were well dressed. Super mutants. Oh. Lots of food here. I don't know if I should trust it, but like it ain't for me, I'll make it for somebody else. Someone there? Game's over! Hey, that is just rude, sir. Sir. We could have come to an agreement. No, that's hilarious for reasons you guys cannot understand. Because those reasons are relevant to my DD campaign. But in the campaign, there are there's a group of two NPCs. A charging laser sniper rifle? I don't even begin to know what that means. Um, what is this going on over here? Floating skeleton. But there are two NPCs that, whenever one of them would go down, they were accompanying the party, super low level. And whenever one of them would go down, the other one would yell, "My brother!" And they would just yell at each other. And uh, later loved it. They thought it was the funniest thing. And so, hearing that from the super mutants is hilarious. So I can go turn this quest in now. Ah, lots of, you know, there's some very nice melons up here, man. Makes me think that, like, oh, obviously this is something that I can turn into a settlement. Ah, did I miss that. That's why it's always worth going around and seeing what you missed. Dirty water, I'll take that. Can't interact with any of the meat. This settlement comes with the bathroom already made. Ooh, is this corn? Alright, well what I'm really looking for is potatoes, so... Machine gun turret MK2. Ooh, settlers. Did not... Did not meet it. Did not meet a very good end. Well, that's interesting. So this is obviously a settlement that I think I can engineer and stuff, but I don't know where the little thing is to activate it as a settlement. Ooh. That's decent hall there, but I guess I didn't really need any of that. All right, well, trek on back then. Whee! <laughs> like, with this low a health, I'd usually, like, damage, I'd usually use water. But the thing is, is what's interesting is looking at it, I have a disproportionately larger amount of stim packs than I do of water. Now, if you remember, I need the bot fight. For the science. Oh my gosh, how many of these things are there? It's disappointing to me. To myself. Jeez. It's like the only way I can hit these things if I do not aim. How does anyone hit these things? Bloat fly gland. A bloat fly gland, Jacob. It is not a blot fly. It is a bloat fly. I you see, like, this is what I'm saying. I don't even know where any of the bodies are now. Turn around, instantly more. Ow. Is 
that like a grab? What is that supposed to be? Ah, uh, this is gonna be awkward. Uh. I do not care for your shenanigans, ma'am. Or sir. Can't speak to the gender of a robot. What did you find? I'm following you. Nice job, you found a tank. See, like, this is a perfectly preserved tank, and no one's tried to, like, I don't know, take it and use it or something. Okay, so back down here to the bloat flies. For that quest that I really don't appreciate down here, miscellaneous. Bloat fly gland. So I found my bloat fly gland. What? It was a flying, glowing rad roach. Found a bloat fly. One of them. It's just empty. Yeah, they're just like, it's like all their bodies are just gone. I don't know, man. I don't understand it. But I got what I needed, so. I can now go under this. And as soon as I get this done, I will go bring the gland to the doctor. The good doctor. So this one has a cool. I think it's pretty cool. Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. By the way, feel free to use our workshop. I'm glad to count you as a friend. I want to trade a few things. Sure. I can trade with this guy? Oh, he's just one of my settlers, so I can just, I guess, trade with him. I'm just grabbing the stuff that I need. Grabbing the stuff that I need. Oh ho ho, I'm grabbing the stuff that I need. Oh ho. Tell me my singing is beautiful. Anyway. Oh, I guess I can go activate this now, too, yeah. <laughs> You're under my control. I just want to trade a few things. Okay. Oh, so you can just trade with settlers. Okay, that's kind of cool because that means that I can. Obviously, give them stuff. They're a mutt fruit farm. But I need potatoes. It's a strange world to live in when you live in a mutt fruit town, but you just need potatoes. Is it? Come on, come on. Okay, Diamond City Market. Found that Diamond City Market. Do a ho. It's interesting that I just stumbled into this building and got this quest. Hmm. Just to the light a little bit. Why are there two different... I don't have two quests active, do I? No? So why are there two different uh, places it's telling me to go? I don't know. Oh, I can You're sell stuff. You're the greatest well. baseball collector I've met in a long time. Right, I've got a few baby. minutes to browse. Buddy, Feel not baby. Uh huh. Ah, jeez. Console mod. Staggering combat shotgun. My shotty has nothing special about it. So there was okay. So there's not just combat guns. There's combat shotguns. Okay. Clean blue suit. I'm pretty sure I already have, but just in case. Combat armor right leg. Sturdy combat armor. Right, make.
making my way down here. By road map. Dude, when I finally sell all that stuff, maybe I'll do it today. It's gonna be so much stuff. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. <laughs> Still free shopping, right here. Small arms, long arms, ammunition. Yeah, so I am really curious, like, where is the other place that it's telling me to go? Oh, I think it's telling me to exit, and then it's trying to tell me the location of a bloated eye. Gland. I guess. Doc... Mr. Duff handles all the visits. <clears throat> Bother her. Oh, yes. Can I help you? Yeah. I have this bloat fly gland. You asked for it. Oh, the field trip, of course. <coughs> oh, wonderful. Let me just take that. These glands are definitely the product of adaptation to radioactive exposure. Maybe our own insides have adapted as well. <gasps> Wouldn't that be something? Here's a little reward for my new junior scientist. Alright, well, that, I guess that's it. I got a hundred caps and some experience. Alright, back out to Diamond City. So something that I didn't think about until somebody realized it is I always thought that the night abilities and the day abilities were really interesting. Uh, because... It's 12 hours of the day, the weather is changing all the time on such a constant basis, like, why would you want that? And then I realized, well, realized in they talked about it, is that you can just choose to turn in quests at night. Um, and the night ability increases your intelligence. And so since somebody told me that, I'm just, like, freaking out. Like, that's the coolest, that is such a good use of that ability. Um, so I've thought about doing a, a, a build that the entire concept of the build is to get as much experience as fast as possible without, like, using too much crazy of exploits. Like, obviously, I could just glitch things, and I could just build a, a post over and over and over again, but... The thing is, is, like, dog meat finds things, but that does not mean that I can find dog meat. All right, boy, where are we going? That's adorable. What are you talking about? You just said you found something and then sat down, but there is nothing here. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep going then. <laughs> Good talk, dog meat. A uh, distress signal found. Distress signal lost. Ireland's. About as much as I hate ghouls, actually. Like, feral ghouls. <clears throat> They're at the training yard, but again, it has the entrance marked to the side, which I think is weird. National Guard Training Yard. I'm so... National Guard Training Yard, that rhymes. Hey, anyway, I'm so close to leveling up. Got it. I didn't panic. Now I have one more thing I can sell. But who set that mine out? Man. Here comes the Brotherhood of Steel. Where are they going? These satellite dishes over here. I always save before getting involved. But I always... Track the set, the Brotherhood of Steel with the. Oh, the distress signal has like a strength? Who are they fighting? Ooh, mutants. 
have any desire to get involved in this fight, but I'll have to stop by on my way back to be able to see if uh, any of them died. That's going to drive me crazy, so I'm going to stop that right now. <coughs> uh, to see if any of them, any of the uh, Brother to Steel members died, because if they do, you know, I want their stuff. You know, I didn't think they were on the bus. I thought, you know, they have standards. They wouldn't put somebody on the bus. I hope when I go through a loading screen, it stops telling me where the enemies are located. Dog meat. Frickin' move, man. I can't even select him to move him. I was holding the aim button, it just wasn't aiming. And then I had to let go of the aim button and go back to it. How is it that the ghouls haven't triggered any of these, but it's overwhelmed with ghouls? There are just some small issues with it. Alright, so exploring the outside of the building, I'm going to see what I can find here. So every entrance is marked. Every entrance is marked with a, uh, with a mine. Makes sense. Um, I'd like to be able to enter this building. I entered that one. Wasn't one over there. I'd like to be able to enter this one. No mine here. I can pick any lock. That does not mean I can hack the computers. I mean, I could just build a, a robot for it. But then I'd lose a bunch of carrying capacity and damage resistance. It's really the carrying capacity is not as big a deal as the damage as the uh, damage resistance, because like I get like a thirty percent damage resist if I just do things alone. Yes. Oh man, I didn't think this was an entrance. Dang it! I really got to start reading the doors before I just bumble into the building. All right. Well, good talk. Ah! <laughs> oh god, that was startling. Not for any, like, particular reason, it just was. Oh, a uh, gangrous feral goo? I've never seen this before. So do they have gangrene? Is that the implication? They're radioactive as hecaroonies, but... I don't, and you know what? I don't know if hecaroonies are radioactive, so I don't know if I can say that, but... Ooh, that is a sentry bot, and that is a big sentry bot. But you have to activate that from inside. Uh, that's locked from the inside. Here we go on this barrel. I'm gonna kill him now. He doesn't bother me anymore. Shoo, shoo. I fly. It's obviously not a fly, but shoo, ghoul, don't bother me. Explorer going up. That's where I entered before. I have not entered... <coughs> now, this building over here. Or have I? No, this was the first building that I entered. Okay. Obviously, there is an entrance to the building here. This is the main entrance. Again, I have no understanding of how ghouls managed to get in here without activating any of those. 
Alright, so I'm going to go into the back entrance, because I picked a master lock to be able to do it, so you best darn believe yourself, I'm going to take advantage of that. Have not managed to, oh, okay, I haven't explored this ruin. And then as I go to, so when I finish exploring the outside, that'll probably be the end of what I can fit into this video. Crashed hoverboard. There's nothing up here. We could have done something. All this. That looks like it's a rusted footlocker, but really it's the rusted roof. It's clipping through. Alright, well. Here's the entrance I'm going to take. Oh, this is to the National Guard Armory versus the National Guard Training Yard. Alright, well, thank you for joining me for LT Place Fallout 4. This is part 61. Um, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. It helps out a great deal. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification button so that way you get updated whenever I come out with a new video. Come out with new videos for you guys every day so there's always new content to watch. Thanks for watching. LTL.